Welcome back to another episode of In Swine Versation, the HGTV personality for the swine industry with Rachel Fishback. Welcome back to the program, Rachel. Hi, Jim. Thank you. We had you on a podcast earlier this year. We thought we'd bring you back to the swine TV format. So you're you're kind of the expert. Every time I watch what you're doing with integrity, it kind of brings me back to watching programs on HGTV. You and Nick are kind of that fun personality providing great content. So can you talk to me a little bit about video production, what you're doing with integrity and how you're using YouTube and media for that? Well, I mean, it's an honor to uh, be associated like that. To start out with, like in 2020, our company was really faced with the hiccup of the world of COVID, not being able to do open houses to the public and even being really restricted on who we could bring to our property or uh, to the hog building locations that we were at. And so, um, you know, we were posting pictures of our work, but we decided to start playing with video. And luckily, Daryl and Beth, the owners of the company, really trusted us in portraying Integrity Builders and Supply story a little bit differently and out of the box uh, with the resources that we have. It started getting us walking people through a hog building, showing them the quality of our work and the different design aspects that you can consider or think about with a livestock barn. So you're getting people to see all the details and then connect, connecting people with people. So they get to see the people in integrity. And then you have a lot of different guests as well from your suppliers and the different operations that you're going to. Yeah. Like I love uh, also bringing like our vendors and suppliers on uh, because we get to ask them questions about why their product is beneficial or have them give us um, just a little bit more information in depth on what uh, their product may offer to a pork producer or an integrator or anyone in the swine industry that they may not think about initially when they see that product. So you were a photographer before, so you're behind the camera. Now you're in front of the camera. Is this like a passion, uh, a love that you have with the camera, or did this just start out a necessity with being a better marketer for integrity? Um, well, it started with necessity out of uh, some of the guys on our team were too busy to make it to my scheduled shoots because they were running here and there. And um, so it forced me to be in front of the camera. Also, you know, just going back to my personal uh, situation of when I can't figure something out, I go to look it up on the internet and videos were popping up and answering my questions in a quick format for me to visually see and hear on how to make things work. And so that's kind of where my passion came from, um, you know, in portraying our story as integrity. It, it's been a fun journey because, you know, my co-workers are very humble about what they do in their position, but I, I, I just see their potential and they have so much knowledge to pass on, like they've passed on to me and help me in the pork industry. So, so with the integrity YouTube channel, what's the number one attribute that you provided a, uh, the company like as integrity as a whole at the benefit of that and B to the producers? Um, so I would say with our YouTube channel, it's helped us just have another channel out there for people to visually see and hear us. Um, when they can't physically make the drive or they just want a quick answer to their questions. And then um, we also, you know, we work on putting advice out there for whether they're designing a hog building or working on their hog building or having an issue or just, just things to remind them in the care of their livestock facility, uh, just so that they can quickly watch that and be like, oh yeah, I should have myself check that or the person that I have touring my barn um, just to make sure that our buildings are lasting longer. So how was the building market in 2022 and then what are you expecting in 2023? Um, so we do have people inquiring about new livestock buildings but we are seeing 
also, you know, farmers are engineers in their own suit, uh, whether they have a degree or not. And uh, with these buildings, some of them are really outlasting, you know, their lifespan and what we had all originally thought. Um, and so we were doing a lot of remodel work um, and, and we can make that, you know, as little or as much as you would like, um, replacing end walls and roofs to, you know, just changing the gating pattern to help fit their operation a little bit better, um, updating feeders, slats, uh, you know, and putting new curtains on their building or inlets. And you think with the video marketing at Integrity, it's essential to keep the message strong throughout the ups and the down periods? Is that? Um, I would strongly agree with that. Uh, just because, you know, on any livestock farm, you don't know when you're going to have a problem arise. It's not like, oh, well, this month, this problem's going to, to happen. And um, unfortunately, some of us, you know, you don't look up that problem and look for a solution until it's happening to you. So, so I guess we're kind of building an educational base for pork producers or people in the swine industry, just so that they do have the opportunity to search if the problem should arise. So do you have a most memorable guest or shoot that you've had? <laughs> well, my coworker, Nick, he makes it fun uh, for me to have, uh, you know, if we're both in the video together. Um, we end up having a lot of bloopers and just a good time with making our videos. We're happy with what we're doing. And uh, I would have to say, you know, the videos with my coworkers are probably the funnest and most memorable. Do you, are you going to have like a blooper reel or anything? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I don't know. Every once in a while on TikTok, I'll put some bloopers out there and, uh, and yeah, maybe I should, I should work on that a little bit better. So has TikTok been beneficial to integrity? Um, I think TikTok brings us a whole new audience. Um, and I think people are just hungry for information and learning about new things, uh, whether they've never been on a livestock farm or they work on one every day. They're all looking, you know, I just like myself, I guess I, I reflect back to myself. Um, you know, we're looking to be entertained. We're looking to be educated. And so, so yeah. And I think with what you're doing, it's a lot of work too. Like when we watch the videos, they're fun, they're short, they're concise, but there's a lot of work that goes behind that and it's a commitment. So I can, I can see all the work you put into that. And do you think with that, we need a hog Hollywood or? You know, I don't think it hurts at all for anyone in our industry to be putting more knowledge out there um, just to showcase uh, what we are doing, whether we're professionals in the industry, we're farmers, um, we're integrators. Uh, I, I think everyone is just, uh, everyone has a story to tell in essential, you know, in an essential way. And it just kind of reflects back into the whole gamut of that livestock breed. And Nick was recently on a farm for profit podcast. What Correct. Uh, can you give me the small background about that? So um, he went on there to talk about different ways, you know, to remodel your buildings, um, trends that we're seeing with people wanting to remodel buildings um, and talking about, you know, just the different chapters, essentially, that Integrity Builders and Supply has to offer customers uh, from new construction to remodeling. Um, and then we have our full service team and our parts warehouse. So, so yeah, the, the relationship we've built with Corey and Tanner and David at Farm for Profit, um, they, they've been great to work with as well. Like we've talked about a little bit, your production is entertaining yet useful. So you're mixing good content, informative content, but yet entertaining people. Do you think the industry in general, we need more entertaining type of shows or? I don't know if entertaining is the right word or if it's more of a real approach. Like we all have our own personalities and we all have our own um, 
spin that we contribute to the industry is just, uh, you know, kind of showing that to, to the world. Where do you see the video production going in the industry? And then what about with integrity? Uh, what are the plans? So I don't foresee a stopping video. Uh, it, it's just another nice channel. Um, whether we're showing our videos on YouTube, LinkedIn, Facebook, TikTok, um, it, it just kind of gives people more of a real approach on what our company has to offer as well as the members of our team. Now, what about any tips for making videos and, and using this kind of platform? It can seem daunting to people that may not have the experience. Do you have any, any tips to provide? I would just say try. Uh, I don't have a four-year degree in video development whatsoever. Um, it's just a passion and being consistent and, and pushing yourself into a new box by far. So try, learn and engage because I think with technology, there's more easy steps that you can follow, right? To, it's not like reading an instruction manual. You can, it's a lot of trial and error and it's easier to learn. Yeah. Unfortunately, you know, trial and error, uh, we all learn in those experiences in life and this has been no different for any of us. And what about marketing and brand building? What does that mean to you? Um, well, I think, you know, going back to showing uh, who we are and what we do, um, mm -hmm. being consistent about that. Um, and, you know, it's not just one person at our company doing it all. And, and that's no different for any industry or company. And so, you know, I'm striving to really push uh, to put all my coworkers out there uh, to share their knowledge because we all have a little bit different um, approach to it and advice to give. So, and you mentioned you guys do more than ju just the building of hog barns. Why should someone contact Integrity today? Well, I think what sets us apart, and Daryl and Beth have done an amazing job at really structuring Integrity Builders and Supply is. You know, we not only build brand new, um, but we remodel uh, buildings. Uh, we have a full service team. And, you know, if you're having problems, the guys that have developed relationships with our customers, you know, they're not afraid to call anyone on our team and be like, hey, I'm having this problem. And sometimes we can just solve it with diagnosing it over the phone for you and with you standing right there. Um, and then, you know, for those people that really enjoy working on their own barns, um, you can either call our warehouse for parts or you can swing by and pick them up. And Alec, he's ha happy to pull anything that you may need. Um, or like Beth, she's happy to order anything from any of our suppliers and vendors um, that we may not have on our shelves. So it's kind of like really nice to see um, how all of our components can work together. And you've got a team approach. It's more of a family kind of business and very personalized. Yes, I, I, I would say that that's a good observation. So we'll put you on the spot here to wrap up, Rachel. One prediction for 2023. For the industry or for our company? Um, both or one. Okay. Um, I think uh, just not really a prediction, but, uh, you know, people are more able to do their own research on whatever they're passionate about or whatever they're looking for. And so um, I, I don't foresee that going away, whether it's referrals or looking, you know, on the internet for what they're trying to solve. And, and so I, I think that is going to keep snowballing. So Rachel Fishback, thanks for joining us today. Well, thank you, Jim. It's been an honor as always.